We just arrived at the pier and are about to take a speedboat to Colanta. Yesterday we came here with the speedboat. It was quite okay. It was better than we expected because we we've seen some horrific stuff online about the speedboat, about people being like very sick on it, getting super wet. But it was was totally fine. Yeah, and actually you can you can take an, a normal boat which takes about four hours from Phuket to Kulanta. Or you can take the speedboat, which took about one and a half hour. Yeah, right. Because and I would take it again. It might be a little bit more expensive. And another thing, be sure to bring a rain jacket. Because it's possible you will get wet. We are staying here at Bungalow, right? Right at the sea. Right at the sea, yeah. It's super so beautiful. Beneath our feet, we see the water. So we are surrounded here by the water, which is really, really beautiful. Yeah. It's like a bamboo hut. Yeah. Everything's made out of bamboo. It's a small room and outside you have the shower. Yeah, so you have everything you need and it's right located in the old town. So we will link it down below if you are planning to visit in Kolanta. I think this is the perfect day. It's so quiet here. It's calming. It's calming. You see the other islands yeah, in the background. Yeah, like you're just surrounded by nature and yeah. So beautiful. And it wasn't even expensive. I think it was something like 30 euros a day. Nothing more. Yeah. So it's affordable for everyone, I think. Now we just finished a morning yoga session and are about to get ready to head over to the old town to grab some brunch. See you there. Okay, so we are on our way to the old town. Which is one street, <laughs> so it's not that big. Everything here is small. But they have a lot of uh, small arty local shops yeah, and buy some gifts really really cute so it's worth a visit and there also seem to be a lot of restaurants and a lot of free animals you see animals everywhere on the street chickens dogs a lot yeah. of cats um stephanie's super hyped mm -hmm. <laughs> and now we're just looking for a place to grab something to eat So we actually wanted to film and say that we are exploring the west coast, uh, the beaches on the west coast, but we have to pay attention because there's an ape, like check, wants, checking out the bike. I think he wants to steal something. Oh my god. He's like, nice bike, bro. Nice bike, bro. <laughs> I guess. Okay. okay, so as you just saw, we had a close encounter with a monkey or even two. Um, at the beginning it was cute and the monkey was far away, small one, then it came to us, it jumped on the bike, we were not on the bike at that time. It has a lot of long teeth, so, and it tried to open up the bike inside. Yeah, it was, it was looking for food and it, Probably. Didn't, it didn't climb off the bike, and then I was like, okay, we should give him some food and then we looked 
in our bag because we knew that we had some nuts and I looked for them. The monkey heard like some movement or heard something in the bag. Yeah. They looked kind of threatening, like up yeah. close with the long teeth yeah. and uh, it made like some aggressive moves. So it wasn't that funny anymore, not that cute anymore. Yeah, so we found some nuts and we threw them a little bit further away. So the monkeys, they, they went after it and we drove away, so it was fine. But I don't know how it is if you confront them, if you do like loud noises or something. I don't want to find out, but yeah, that's, that's that story. Yeah, now we are at a little bay and apparently there were also supposed to be some monkeys. Yeah, so yeah, my motivation is very low right now to go to... Be sure to beach. pay attention. If there are monkeys around, they, they just steal your stuff. So really, really pay attention to keep your stuff close, put it in your pockets or like in your backpack so that they don't steal it. Okay, but for now we are relaxed and we're going to have a look at the beach. Okay, so one very big plus, the beach is empty. Like we are the only people here and this is actually why we came to Koh Lanta because we heard there weren't that many people around which is super nice except for the monkeys. Okay so we are at the beach and after chilling a few hours even though there were also monkeys here they were very cool and the water is super nice very clear uh, we, are, we were also very lucky that we were alone at first and then after some time there were more people coming but still there are not a lot of people here uh, which we really like oh and by the way this is the Nui Bay that's what it's called it's on the west coast the best beaches in Koh Lanta are here on the west coast you can drive by and just stop and then look if you like the beach and if you find any hidden beaches or like maybe a beach where you are alone. Yeah, I think I think the the chance are pretty high here in Kolanta. Especially in the morning. We noticed that already when you are on the beach in the morning or there are far less the, people yeah, there. Yeah, or, or in the noon, there are almost no people or no people if you have chance and then the most people come by in the afternoon. here on the long beach in Colanta which, which is, is on the west <laughs> which is on the west uh, side and here you have these beautiful bamboo houses right on the beach it's really really beautiful and we think that this is a good stay if you're looking for a stay in Colanta here on the west side on the long beach you will find these cute huts yeah, they're right at the beach, which is super nice. You have like a private access to the beach. The beach is also very nice. It's white sand, blue water. The other nice thing is it's right on the main road and there you can find a lot of restaurants, uh, some gyms. And cute and cafes, brunch yeah. places. So you got everything you need. This is something we noticed. As you know, we are staying at the East Coast. We are staying in the old town, which is really, really beautiful. I think the old town is really special. It's a really cute street with little shops. But we just noticed that driving along all the shops, the gyms, the, the cute cafes and restaurants, and even this beach, that 
for a longer stay, you should definitely consider it maybe staying on the west coast. Yeah. Overall, we can say Koh Lanta has been one of the best places in Thailand so far. It truly really feels like paradise here. What we especially liked about Koh Lanta is that you're away from all the tourists, all the hype, all the traffic. You can get to anywhere on the island in a 20 to 30 minute ride with the bike. And with the bike, you can also go around and discover all the beaches, all the hidden places. And we visited so many beaches with absolutely no people around. Yeah, it truly feels like paradise here. So if you're visiting the south of Thailand, don't forget about this beautiful island. We will definitely come back here again. See you in the next one.